YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. This is officially Life on the Road video one, episode one. I don't know what to call it, but I'm so excited. Nick and I are up at camp and we are packing up the trailer and we're going to hit the road tomorrow. I'm a little sick which is a little bit sad, but I'm so excited that it doesn't even matter. That's how you know that you're really happy is when you're sick, but you don't even care. Today, I'm going to just kind of vlog and take you guys around what I'm doing today to prep the trailer. Let's get going. <laughs> Look at this. I have the battery hooked up to the trailer right now and can you hear that music? I have my laptop charging in the trailer. I turned the music on. It's just like a little radio in the trailer. And it's working so well! So now I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna let that drain a little bit and then I'll hook it up to the solar panels. Success! So exciting! gonna be so mad at me but look at how cute he is and I'm gonna catch him from this side he loves mowing the grass does anybody else love mowing the grass cuz Nick does and it's so cute I'll run away before he sees me but that's the cutest so this is a real live green weenie. He's climbing right now. Here in Pennsylvania, a lot of folks fish with green weenies, the fly, and that is a real life green weenie. That's what you're trying to imitate. I don't know the scientific name of that bug. I was gonna call him a worm, caterpillar. I don't know. I call him a green weenie because that is what we fish. So I took the solar panels and I plugged it in. There we go. How much do you love the solar panels? He just went like this. So I'm back to packing the camper. And this year, this is actually really exciting. I am working with SOG this year. They sent us a bunch of stuff and I need to finish unpacking it because I need to pack it into the trailer. So I thought I might as well show you some of the cool stuff that they sent over. This is one that I'm particularly excited about. It's just a fillet knife. Nick and I are going to be fly fishing all summer. So with that, we'll be eating some of the trout, especially invasive species. So it's interesting, here in Pennsylvania, brook trout are native, but out west, brook trout are very, very invasive and they are taking over and pushing species like native cutthroat out. They thrive and it's hurting the native fish populations out there. So, we'll be keeping a lot of brook trout and eating them, so this is definitely coming with us. There we go, do you see that? How cool. This is definitely coming with us as well. This is just a little multi-tool. This is the pocket knife that I've been carrying around. Nick and I have been fighting over it because it's so great. Nice, and then this is a big field knife for hunting. Check that out. I will link saw gloves. Oh wait, waha. And last but not least, they sent us some packs. Sog makes more than knives and multi-tools. They make packs too. So they sent us a couple different ones. This one is a little more robust, has some more room, but it also has a hip belt for some better weight distribution. I freshened up a bit and ate some food and now Nick and I are going to go on a little bit of an adventure. I have, today's like all about the solar panels. I have a solar panel 
12 volt bat well, a solar panel and a 12 volt battery that will run a trail camera. How cool is this? This is by Hunting Made Easy and we're gonna set this up in a nice sunny spot and see what we can catch on camera. But we're going to set up some other cameras too and check a camera, so it's a beautiful evening. We're just gonna enjoy it while we're here. <laughs> not far we're literally setting this one up in the backyard so if you come and look right down this way there is a huge game trail right through here Ooh, muddy. it runs right through the backyard so we figured since this is kind of a it's just a more expensive piece. I don't want to put it out on public land and risk having someone steal it. But it's such a wonderful idea because you don't need to change the batteries or worry about your camera dying. And we're gonna be gone for five months, so I think this is perfect. So we're gonna set it up here right on this big fat trail. I mean, we've had a bear come up on the front porch. So we could get anything on camera. So this camera doesn't have a port for this battery, which is an important note. If you are going to use something like this, you'll need to make sure that your camera is compatible with it. Oh, nice shirt. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. We did not plan that, but we're literally wearing the same shirt. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> That's so funny. Wait a second. So on this camera, there is a spot right here which says aux power 12 volt. So this is where you will plug in the 12 volt battery, right there. The other camera did not have that port. It's like a disco ball. <laughs> okay. Nice. I think I need to move it. So one thing to note, whenever you take something like this out of the packaging, I'm talking about the 12 volt battery, you need to charge it right away so you'll be able to plug it in to your wall at home. And then from the experience that I had today with the larger solar panels, your best bet is to bring it down and then angle it around a 45 degree angle towards the sun or towards whatever pocket of sun you get the most of. And then here, all you gotta do is turn it on. And it worked. So cool. Okay, video mode, 1280 by 720, 30 second delay. It's filming me right now. Okay, so I can set that there. And that's all there is to it. And it'll just continue to run and the solar panel will charge it and we will never need to replace any batteries or like call a friend to replace the batteries because we're gonna be gone. Nice. Okay, let's set more trail cameras. <laughs> Almost wiped out because of a rock. are so high. Wow. Do you want to like sit on a log and look at this together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go sit down and check it out. We got a couple bucks, a couple does. I'm surprised no fawns, but it's still, I guess, relatively early. I'm just so impressed with how green it is. The difference between how it was 
about a month ago to where it is now is amazing. So we're gonna leave it here because we're getting plenty of critters on camera and then go hang up some more. It's a little bit sad that we won't be here to pick all of the blueberries, but we'll be able to pick huckleberries out west. Probably blueberries too. So, we should not miss out on the summer. <gasps> My shoe's untied. The sh summer ripening season? I don't, is that a thing? <laughs> Time issue. Do you see that back there, those white flowers? You can see some over here. It's beautiful. So here, I found one up close. That is what the Mount Laurel flowers look like. How gorgeous. Either on that tree, or like on this tree facing down the trail. What do you think? I think that tree facing down the trail. Camera set. <laughs> it zoomed in on your face. <laughs> We're gonna hop back on the bikes, ride around on this quad trail, and set our third and final camera. I'm being a little baby. I keep getting thorns in my legs and my arms are all scratched up. I did put my jacket on, but it's wet because we were sitting on it. So I told Nick to just go set the camera. <laughs> and I'll get away. <laughs> I'm just being a baby. I'm probably a little hungry. You know when you get hangry? So I said, here's the backpack. Just go set the camera without me. <laughs> But I don't mind just standing here, it's beautiful. It's like a freaking jungle. Look at it, it's crazy. Hey. I'm in the tree stand. Don't climb into tree stands without a safety harness. I'm only a couple steps up, but I just wanted to peer and see if I could see Nick, and I found him. So you found a good spot? I just put it on a tree. <laughs> That big boulder where I killed that doe last year, mm -hmm. I put it maybe like 20 yards in front of it. Nice. When the acorns fall, it'll be a good spot, but until then, it, it probably won't get that much. We sat it in bushwhack with you. No, it wasn't <laughs> even bushwhacking. It was like, it opens Clear. up. Yeah. You're just standing okay. in the bush. Let's go. Let's go. 